thing seems to be proceeding at a snail pace. Senator Tom Atta and Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz agree that the Port Authority is far behind in its modernization plans. The Vice Speaker says he's also disappointed by the port's consultant, Parsons Brinkerhoff. That we've paid PB $16 million to date, or at least that's what the, the port people said last night, and we've not turned a shovel. We started this process in August of 2007. All of the reports that PB prepared said that we should be ready for the build-up that was supposed to start in 2009, 2010. We're now 2012. If the build-up had started as it was supposed to or originally scheduled, we'd have ships backed up to Hawaii at this point. Senator Atta says that during last night's informational hearing, they discovered that the Maritime Administration, or MARAD for short, wants to do more studies on the waterfront. Merritt and the Port Authority have been at odds over how to proceed with the port's modernization plans. Merritt says that DOD's Inspector General wants the entire $50 million in DOD funding for the port to go towards wharf improvements, while the port wants to use some for the wharf and the rest for upland improvements. The timeline for the study that they want to undertake on the waterfront uh, probably won't be completed until, until August of 2012. Meanwhile, the port and its consultant, Parsons Brinkerhoff, is saying that some of the Uplands projects can be done in 60 days if Merritt will clear the port to use the funds. But the funds themselves are now becoming questionable. The USDA was going to loan the port $50 million, $25 million of which was to be guaranteed by the USDA. However, because of some technical issues, the port has had to decline that $25 million that was to be guaranteed by the USDA. As for the other $25 million, the USDA had asked the port to commit to a spending plan by December 31st. But the port instead asked for an extension. Uh, the viability of the USDA loan, you know, is now somewhat in question. And then there's the loan from the Department of Defense. Because of the fact that it's been sitting in that account for 15 months uh, untouched, I, I'm concerned that it may get subjected to being deobligated. Uh, by the federal government and since you know they're scrambling also to to make ends meet so um, I it, it doesn't it doesn't leave us with a warm and fuzzy feeling that these funding sources are still going to be there when we do need them a large part of the holdup at the port seems to stem from a disagreement or confusion over who exactly is in charge of the modernization funds Merritt or the port Senator Atta says this is why the Port Authority produced a protocol manual but the manual was transmitted five months ago to Merad without any response. It is not a matter of, you know, who's on top of who, but really just a question of who the, the division of responsibilities. And we've got to identify that now and agree to it. This is where Vice Speaker Cruz and Senator Tom Atta differ. The Vice Speaker says federal law already identifies Merad as the lead agency and thus the protocol manual is a waste of time. They're the lead agency, they're responsible for the disbursement, they're responsible for the planning, they're responsible for everything. Why are you, no amount of Guam legislature's resolutions, no 15 letters from the congresswoman or from the governor is going to amend a federal statute. If you want to get a federal statute amendment, don't sit around for 14 months twiddling your thumbs trying to see who's on top, get the law changed if you want to, if you want to do something. But a protocol manual isn't going to do it because that's not what the law says.